Hi, my name is Jim Gibson with Nova Voice and Data Systems, and our uh, website is www.enova.us. And today I'm with Patrick, uh, Senior Tech and uh, Supervisor of Technical Services for uh, Nova Voice and Data Systems. And today what we're going to discuss is we're going to discuss the Toshiba CIX100. And uh, Patrick, why don't you describe the CIX100? The CIX100 is a IP capable phone system for small to medium sized business. Um, it's actually 112 ports, not just 100. So it's a combination of uh, trunks and TDM phones or IP phones, whichever you choose. Okay, before we go too far, why don't you explain to people what a trunk is? A trunk is a telephone line from the phone company. So in other words, it's a dial tone. It's dial tone. Can be copper lines, business lines. Can this small phone system can actually support uh, a PRI? It and can a support PRI is twenty-three voice channels with a data channel circuit from the phone company. And it also provides um, a caller ID, so you get caller ID on your phone. Caller ID, mm -hmm. DID trunk, DID lines uh, across your PRI. It will also support a T1, so if you want to put a T1 interface. And a T1 is also a special circuit from the phone company that has 24 lines on it. Uh, rather, a PRI has 23 plus 1 data, right. a T1 has 24 lines. And sometimes you get price breaks. When you, when you get the PRI, you actually, uh, or a T1, you actually get a price break on the lines. I think the price break is normally around 15 lines, so if you you have 15 or more lines, you want to really seriously look at a T1 or a PRI. Plus, if you're going to order a PRI, um, you get other features uh, that come with the caller ID, and you also get usually a lower uh, per call per minute rate if you get these special circuits. So these, well, this system here can support both of those incoming, what we call trunk lines or uh, dial tone from the phone company. It can also, as you said, support uh, basic dial tone that you get at your house or you know, two or three lines from the phone company just order they're called uh, loop start lines. Uh, what we have here is we have a base cabinet. This is a base cabinet. Go um, take the cover off. Okay. This is how it comes. If it, and again, the nice thing about Toshiba is it's always modular. You only buy what you need. You don't have to buy the big system. But uh, so this particular system right here, and it's actually running. Mm -hmm your processor and it has four slots for the interface cards. It happens to have a, an eight circuit digital card in it right now with three remaining slots. Now when you say digital card, you mean digital uh, cards for the digital for phones? For the digital telephone. So mm -hmm. I could run TDM uh, digital telephones or I could run IP telephones if I put an IP card in this phone system. So this particular system right now, as it sits right here, I can run eight telephones off of this card. One of the things though you have to note is this is an Amphenol connection right here. It's a 25 pair connection. It doesn't have the wire coming off it right now. But you really need to have someone that knows what they're doing install this system. In fact, we'd always recommend your local uh, Toshiba dealer install this system. This is not something that you can buy directly yourself from Toshiba and install yourself. It takes a knowledge of telephony to be able to install uh, this system and program it. The phone system, the CIX100, is programmed uh, through a NIC card and also with that NIC card we can put this system on your local area network and it can be administered on your local area network. So in other words this is a network interface card so it's, what is it, 10100? Yes. Um, and it connects to your computer system or directly to a laptop. Uh, that has software on it that can program it. Uh, why don't you explain to the audience what, what that is? Well, your, your smart media card right here stores your programming on smart media. So we read uh, with a file. We can read all of the, the programming information into the processor one, and we can have it stored on smart media so we can remove that smart media. We can transfer the file to another phone system if we need to. We can store that for uh, use later if something ever happens to the processor. Um, of course it's software driven and it's also license driven so it comes with the small version of this 
same processor and all looks the same. Uh, comes with licenses up to for 16 ports, um, or the regular version comes with licenses up to 32 uh, ports. And then what you do is you add four ports at a time in licensing uh, to support either incoming lines from the phone company or extensions uh, such as these. And, and it supports multiple extensions, as was said, IP extensions, regular uh, desk phones that you would find. Uh, you know, just put on your desk that, that use the regular circuits. Uh, or you can have a combination. You can put IP phones on your desk. You can even put IP, these IP phones anywhere in the world and put this in your office. So you can have a IP phone, uh, and this is the older IP phones. The newer ones actually look like this. Uh, looks like this new desk phone. But the uh, IP phone can be anywhere in the world um, and connect to this system and you can make all your calls through this system even if you were in Europe let's say um, and you can call each other using a two-digit or three-digit extension uh, number even a four-digit extension number you can call each other no matter where that IP phone is in the world so it's a quite a savings having VoIP and this is a VoIP system that also takes into consideration a traditional type business phone sets